Hey everyone, before we jump into today's video, I just want to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Dragon Raja. What's going on everybody? My name is uh, Ryan and sorry, I was just uh, swimming with the, uh, the sea monkeys because we've gotten the next tier unlocked for the sea monkey if you missed the last episode we actually have a brand new tower called the sea monkey it's right here look at how beautiful this tower is okay look at how gorgeous it is we now have the middle path finally ready to go so if you missed the first episode where we actually upgraded the top path up here which was really awesome make sure to go check it out it's in the description down below so we're back and now we're trying out the middle path of this awesome sea monkey so if you want to see more of this this type of monkey and you want to see the tier three hit that like button if this video can get 5,000 likes we'll go ahead and get the last tier unlocked for this awesome tower today I want to talk about Dragon Raja an awesome MMO RPG created by Archosaur Games in Dragon Raja you can be whoever you want and play however you want so make sure to check out their official Facebook pages so you can get awesome abundant rewards in the description down below one of the amazing things about Dragon Raja is the awesome beautiful immersive graphics it runs off unreal engine 4 and it's basically like carrying triple a graphics on your phone it's also filled to the brim with exciting content and characters to talk to and ways to interact with the world and you'll have to discover that for yourself not only that there's a grand and open and vivid world i mean look at this all we have to do is go to the world map and look at all the amazing beautiful places to travel like let's go to the moon realm what that sounds awesome not to mention also realistic climate change changes as well as the season cycles throughout the game as I was standing here filming this video it literally started just snowing in this beautiful park that we're walking around in right now how awesome you can be anything you want in this game truly between just an absolute awesome samurai warrior or just some cool teenage kid running around beating up monsters the choice is yours so what more convincing do you need dragon Raja has it all so make sure to go in the description down below head over to the Facebook and download the game yourself make sure to get all the awesome abundant rewards and try out the skateboarder class because it seems super awesome and of course i'll see you in game the first thing we get is actually echo location allow sea monkeys to target camo balloons from and from further away so it looks like we get more range which is nice aqua affinity swim can swim a short distance and let's also get tougher urchins because tougher urchins is going to be really nice to have. Yeah, because we're already starting to lose. Uh, some of the balloons are getting by. Aqua affinity. I like how it's just like this person with like the sea monkey. And like what is it's like the sea monkey poggers phase. That's really funny. So I'm going to get spike shrapnel first because that's actually really good. Because every time he throws down one of the sea urchins, it actually throws out spikes. Which is going to do a lot of extra damage. Which is going to be really nice. I definitely want to get aqua affinity as well. I think that's going to be really nice. Let's see. Aqua affinity 6,000 or 600. Water waves. Send waves of seawater at balloons that wash away camo and corrodes lead. That is really, really strong, I think. The fact that it can get rid of it. And look, so the monkey can actually swim. So we can click on it and make here. Let's let's have the monkey swim to like right here. I mean, I kind of... Here, what if we just... So he just swam right there. So that's really cool. I like that it has a similar ability to the bottom pass super monkey because... Most towers don't have the ability to move, and I kind of like, I think that's cool, because it's a sea monkey. You should be able to, like, move through the water pretty easily, right? So I like that a lot. And then we can get water waves. So it sends waves of seawater. So, whoa, that's awesome! Wait, Atlantis Guard throws an electrified trident instead of sea urchins and conjures larger, faster water waves. Ability, Riptide. Channel a rubber-ripping Riptide at your target across any range. Okay, that's pretty awesome, and I'd very much so like to see that. But I definitely want to get... See that? Because the monkey is a sea monkey. See that? Ha! Ha! Please subscribe to the channel. So the water actually doesn't do anything. It just, like, washes away camo and lead properties. But that does mean we can pop pretty much any type of balloon. So I'm going to go ahead and just start trying to get a little bit of money here, right? The, the tower seems to be doing a pretty good job, and especially since the balloons have to go, like, twice around. This tower is going to do a great job of kind of just dealing with everything, right? So we can go ahead and get increased production, and then greater production. Now we can start trying to save up a little bit more money as well. Yeah, we're starting... Oh, no, look at that! Some of, the, well, some of the balloons are starting to try to cheese their way by. I don't like it. I definitely... I don't like it. I don't like that they're trying to get by. They're not allowed, okay? One more sea monkey, because I think they could help out a decent amount. So maybe we put just one more over here. And then they're going to do a pretty good job. And then we'll just get, like, 
Yeah, and I'll just get tougher urchins because that makes them a lot stronger as well. So, so now we have tougher urchins, which just is going to be a little bit extra damage. And I think that's really all that we're going to need. If we need to, we can sell it. But I think having, like, look at that. That's helping us out a lot, actually. So now that we got our monkey bank, we are good to go. Oh, and see, so we have camo balloon. So look, so we can actually hit camo balloon, and it just removes camo. Like, completely removes the camo property, which is really awesome. And it makes sense that we get rid of lead because, well, salt water rust lead. So it actually just rusts all the balloons away. So I think that's actually really awesome. And so far, so good. We're on round 26, and we only have two monkeys right now, and they're doing great. I definitely am trying to save up money, though, because I really want to get this, uh, the Atlantis card. So it's, it throws, it literally throws tridents. It throws tridents instead of sea urchins. So I'm very ready to see like exactly what's going to happen here. This also seems like this is going to be a lot of money. Will I be able to deal with all these balloons? Maybe not. This looks like it could be a little, uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm just going to put a ninja down real fast so we can kind of make sure we don't lose here. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Ninja. So here's the lead balloons. So this monkey should be able to, yeah, so it just gets rid of lead balloons. It just pops them instantly. That's really, really nice, actually. The first three upgrades for the sea monkey are all, like, support-based things. Look at that. That's four different abilities. That's strange. Or well, I guess that's not actually an ability. The water waves don't do anything. It's just kind of, like, a bonus thing. $4,000. We're getting close. We're getting very close to being able to afford the $9,000 upgrade. The next one's probably going to be even crazier, like, even more expensive. All right, that should be enough. That's 9,000. Now we can get the Atlantis Guard. So, boom. And so now what does it do? Oh, my gosh. What the heck? So, oh, there's the Trident. So, there's the Trident that's being thrown down. So, it's a Trident and it does electric damage, which is really, really cool. So, it automatically puts them down. And here's the Trident. So, can we put the Trident anywhere? I'm confused. Wait, wait, wait. What does it do? Ability Riptide. Channels a rubber ripping Riptide at your target across any range. Wait, wait, so at your at your target across any range. Interesting. But now look at the lightning on this thing. Okay, these lightnings are kind of insane, not gonna lie. So it just shoots. Look at how fast it shoots lightning. Okay, this tower is really good. Poseidon Commander. We need $70,000. That is really, really expensive. So let's start saving up money. We're gonna need a couple more banks, honestly. And it can get rid of camo balloons, too. This tower is crazy. So we use that and then it just... Oh my gosh! Okay, so that is what the ability does. Holy cow, that's a really, really strong ability. Yeah, we need to save that ability for, for more. Because that ability is just way too powerful. I think that's going to pro probably just shred the Moab, if we're lucky. I definitely see this having a problem popping per like uh, purple balloons. Because it is it does change the tower into a magic-based tower. But, I mean, look at how powerful it is. It just shoots lightning all over the place. Oh, but it does have some problem with ceramics. It does have to hit the ceramics several times in order to deal with them. Which isn't, uh, which isn't ideal, but it's okay. I'm saving up because round 40, I definitely want to be able to have that ability ready to go. Alright, here's the Moab, and then whoosh! Look at that! It just destroyed the Moab! Okay, that ability is so powerful. That ability is a really, really nice to have. And you can use it for other things as well, right? So that's going to be nice. I can make... Do I want to make this little guy swim? I don't need to make him swim. He's he's just big chilling right now. $7,000. Look at that. We're actually so close to being able to get some more banks. How much is it? The $6,000 is in there. Yeah, we remember, we need $70,000 to get the max, the T5 for the uh, Poseidon Commander, which seems so awesome already. Like, I'm already just hyped about that. I think that's going to be so cool. I am kind of tempted to go ahead and get a, um, like, get a village and put, like, the village around here. Just so that way we can, uh, yeah, I'm going to put this here and then I'm going to put a village down. Just so we can, uh, hit purple, like, oh, yeah, yeah, see, here's the purple balloons that we're having troubles with. Collect all monkey intelligence bureau. And so now, oh, wait, can it still not pop purple balloons? That'd be very interesting because the tridents might be a separate entity from our friend here. So I could see that being a slight problem, but that's okay. I'm trying to go ahead and put... It, this is definitely not the... Oh, there we go. I'm going to use this ability so we can take out those fortified ceramic balloons because these are... This tower specifically is not great against specific, uh, like, very difficult, like, stronger balloons. So I actually might go ahead and get Spike Shrapnel, Echo Location on this, Poison Pricks, and then I might get Territorial Terror, but... 
I think just having this guy down is going to be really good against anything that this tower is not going to be able to deal with, right? So they actually complement each other really well with the two different tiers. And I'm really excited what the third tier is going to be for the Sea Monkey. We're at $25,000. I'm trying to save up to get that $70,000. We have $14,000 in the bank, so we're doing okay. We do have a BFB in six rounds that we're going to have to deal with. I think in six rounds, we should have enough money to be able to get the Poseidon Commander. Invoke the full power of the ocean to summon whirlpools and tsunamis. What does that mean? I have no idea, but I am very, very curious. That should be enough. That's 72,000. All right, Poseidon Commander, it's time to get the T5. If you've been enjoying and you want to see more, make sure to hit that like button. Remember, 5,000 likes, and we unlock the bottom path for this amazing tower. So Poseidon Commander, boom. Oh my, what the heck is this? And look at that. It just, what the heck? It just throws whirlpools? Oh my gosh, this thing, this tower is insane. Look at this. Like, look at this. What the heck is this? So this is just all like the whirlpools all around it. There's no way that anything can beat this. Water whirlpools that home in on all the balloons as well. And we also have a new ability. We actually lose the trident ability now. And it, instead, it's replaced by this ability. So what happens if we do this? I really, I'm very interested to see what this ability does. Should we wait until round 60? And then use it on round 60. I am kind of curious to see what happens there. I think that would be really, really, really cool. So it's round 59. Yeah, look at these ceramics. No balloons can even get to the tower right now. This tower is so crazy strong. I love the animations for it as well. It looks so like... I love the, like, the light blue and the dark blue. It just looks really cool. Okay, so here's the ability. Oh my gosh! A giant tsunami just comes in, covers all of the water. And look, it puts... Oh my gosh, it covers the entire track. Holy cow. What the heck? That is so cool. Okay, so I think the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to collect all. I'm going to go ahead and get a submarine. And we're going to put a submarine right here. This submarine, I'm just going to level up and get Energizer. Because Energizer uh, reduces all cooldowns by 20%. And so we definitely want to have faster cooldowns, you know? I think that would be really... Look at this. So, oh, and the, the, so the Whirlpool or the Tsunami comes in it covers the entire map with water and it pushes all the moab class balloons back to the start that is so amazing this tower is really really cool i can't wait to see what the last t5 is gonna be like this is this is way too awesome if we get some portable lakes right and we get a portable lake and let's say we put like the portable it's a lava lake but can we look at that so we can actually move the tower over here so we can actually take a pool in this like have them jump from like pool to pool i love the tsunami the tsunami looks look at that so the tsunami washes up and then it goes and then it covers the entire track in so the tsunami ability is kind of a mixture between the middle path spike factory that throws spikes all over the map and on top of that it's also kind of like the druid that pushes all the balloons back as well so it's like a giant it's like a really really nice combination of everything that kind of comes together for a very nice tower and I love the AoE abilities. Like, it has 120,000 pops, and it just destroys. And what's nice is Aqua Affinity is a, a T2 part. or And so that means every single monkey can, get, can have echolocation and T2. So I can just move them wherever I want. What do you think is stronger? This tower or the other tower? My opinion is probably... The, the elusive blue Navoris specimen. I definitely think that's a way stronger tower. And I mean, obviously, it's $60,000 more expensive. So it is going to be a lot stronger. I think this tower is probably cooler. I like just the way, like, I like the AO. Like, I like, it's just like a giant storm. It just has more, like, power to it. And so there's definitely a lot more to this tower. And I think it's probably better for... AOE damage, right? Like, this is just a tower that you want to have down. It's constantly shooting lightning out, doing AOE damage, taking out giant, like, waves of balloons, which helps out tremendously. But I could definitely see stronger type balloons, like, you know, bad balloons, OMGs, DDTs, being able to get through a little bit easier. But then again, that's why we have this Poseidon ability. There we go, the sea monkey. I bet, I wonder if this sea monkey is going to be able to pop. Oh my, like, so this is round 79, and it just pops all the balloons. Like, all of the balloons just get popped. And nothing is even able to, like... I don't think anything's even gotten around this, like, initial bend. Like, that's just how powerful this tower is. It's absolutely bananas. If we use this boost, does more tornadoes come out? I think more tornadoes do show up. 
which is kind of crazy. Did that just take the fortified effect off of it? I'm not entirely sure. So here's the ZoMG. Now, does this put push the ZoMG back? It does. Look, the ZoMG is going all the way back to the start. Oh my gosh. All the way back. It's still going. It literally just reset the ZoMG. So you actually could just use that over and over and over. Because the ZoMG is not going to be able to get to the very end. And you'll be able to use it again. And so you can actually just always keep the ZoMGs pushed back. Like, actually indefinitely. That's a really, really strong ability to have. And then there that goes. That was absolutely amazing. If you want to see more of this awesome tower, you want to see the last D5, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching. You're all amazing. And I'll see you all tomorrow for some more awesome content. Bye, everybody. Whoa!